set y equal to 0. So basically, I would need to solve this function, this equation, 0 equals log base 3 of x. Yes? Now, believe it or not, this is considered a simple equation to solve. You want to solve any logarithmic equation where the thing you're trying to get to is after your log, it's the argument of your logarithm, then the way to go is to change to the other form. When I change this to exponential form, what will it look like? 3 to the power of 0. 3 to the 0. So in exponential form, it looks like 3 to the 0 equals x. Well, what's 3 to the 0? 1. So 1 equals x. So what are my, what's my x-intercept? 1, 0. That was easy. Some of these are very simple. And we'll have you solve some of the very simple ones in your homework. We will get to how to solve the ones that are not so simple next Wednesday. Monday we're going to go through the properties of logarithms, or what they refer to as the laws of logarithms, which will allow us to be able to solve more things because we're ready to do this stuff. No, Monday's uh, not a school holiday. We're just not doing that part yet. Basically, you should be able to do all of this stuff now. Um, and by, if, by the way, there's one last question. Where does this run into the y-axis? It doesn't. It has a vertical asymptote. At x equals 0. There is no way for you to find that vertical asymptote other than you knew that the graph of your original function, the f of x equals a dx, when you reflected it over the line y equals x to get your inverse function, the logarithm, this one did not run into the x-axis, so when you reflect over, you're not going to run into the y-axis. So you'll have this vertical asymptote. It's not like rational functions where you can take the denominator and make it zero. It's always going to be there. The only difference is if you move the graph left to right, it's going to move left to right with the graph. And if you know where you are,